Good morning, my dear children. Welcome you all for the English lesson of Grade Nine. Today our lesson is based on adverbs. Yes, let's learn adverbs. First of all, I would like to tell you a very simple story about a rabbit and a turtle. Now you can see them on the screen. Shall we read it together? Great friends, Tony is a big green turtle that walks slowly. Rani is a white rabbit that lives happily. Tony and Rani usually walk together, but Rani walks quickly. Tony and Rani like to tell jokes and laugh loudly. Tony and Rani like to play when sun is shining brightly. Now you have to answer a very simple question: How does Tony walk? Second one is: How does Rani live? Number three: How often do they walk? Next one: How does Rani walk? How do they laugh? The last question is how does the sun shine now let's see the answers how does tony walk slowly how does rani live happily how often do they walk usually how does rani walk quickly how do they laugh loudly how does the sun shine bright now my dear children what can you see on the screen now i am going to recite a poem can you guess the topic let's recite the poem the moon comes up slowly the stars glitter nicely the water flows secretly i watch these patiently the birds sleep silently the bats fly vigorously the clouds float calmly i watch these patiently can you see some words highlighted in this poem the words in red shall we read them aloud slowly nicely secretly patiently silently vigorously calmly patiently what do you call these words yes we call them adverbs we call them adverbs yes my dear children what is an adverb yes it modifies or describes a verb Now look at these sentences. There are three sentences. They played happily. She dances attractively. The birds fly quickly. Now let's see. How did they play? Can you give me the answer? Happily. How does she dance? Attractively. How did the birds fly quickly So we call these words happily attractively quickly the adverbs of manner or oh, how do they behave Now I am going to give you a very simple task Now you know the poem Shall we read the instructions? Read the given poem and find the verbs and adverbs in each line. Complete the grid. One is done for you. The grid has two columns. By looking at the example, you have to find the verb and the adverb with it. Look at the first line in the poem. 
the moon comes up slowly verb is comes up how does it come the manner slowly can you feel like that now shall we check the answers look at the grid my dear darling comes up slowly glitter nicely flows secretly watch patiently sleep silently fly vigorously float calmly watch patiently it shows how action takes place now i am going to tell you how to identify an adverb find the adverb first you have to find the verb it is usually the action word of a sentence then ask the following question from the verb how it happens when it happens where it happens or how often it happens now you can see a mind map on the screen it shows the types of adverbs number 1 the adverbs of manner second one adverbs of time third one adverbs of place and the fourth one is adverbs of frequency in this lesson we are going to learn number 1 and 2 that means adverbs of manner and adverbs of time Let's do a simple listening task. Now please copy this table into your writing book. I will read five sentences. You have to listen to it and write the number of adverbs in each sentence. That means you have to count the adverbs in a sentence and write the number. Now listen with these are the sentences. Number 1 they read books quickly I searched books carefully they drink it greedily she speaks english well she plays the piano nicely and confidently now you can see the answers in the first one you have only one adverb that is quietly in the second one you can see carefully in the third one only one adverb is there it is greedily in the fourth one only one adverb is there well and the last one there are three adverbs nicely confidently and now Shall we read these adverbs? Yes. Shall we start softly, attentively, hungrily, happily, safely, brightly? What type of adverbs are they? Yes, they are adverbs of manner. Shall we use them in sentences? Yes. Now you are going to use these. adverbs in this sentence shall we read it together the instructions complete the sentences by choosing the appropriate adverb from the list given in the box one is done for you pilot blank landed the plane she blank ate the lunch the sun shines blank the wind blows blank the pupils learn blank now you can see the answers on the slide number 1 safely number 2 hungrily number 3 brightly number 4 happily number 5 softly number 6 attentively in the grid you can see the letters 
E C F D A B. We'll see how adverbs are formed. Adverbs are formed mainly by adding ly to the adjective. They are called adverbs of manner. The pilot safely landed the plane. Ly is added to the adjective. She hungrily ate the lunch. The sun shines brightly. The children play happily. The wind blows softly. The pupils learn attentively. Now look at this grid carefully, my dear. Safe adds ly and it becomes safely. But second one, hungry. If the last letter is y, it becomes I before adding L-Y. Look at hungry and happy. So you have to keep this in your mind. The adjectives ending with Y takes I before adding L-Y. Now I am going to give you a very simple activity. We learned how the adverbs are formed. Adding ly to the adjective. Now I have given you in this grid some adjectives. Kind, slow, bad, sad, neat, loud, careful, brave, beautiful, safe, happy, clear. Now can you form the adverbs adding ly? Yes. Now you can see the answers. Shall we read it together? Kind, kindly. Slow, slowly. Bad, badly. Sad, sadly. Neat, neatly. Loud, loudly. Careful, carefully. Brave, bravely. Beautiful, beautifully. Safe, Safely, happy, happily, clear, clearly. Now go through these examples. Here, kind, we add ly, it becomes kindly. Careful, we add ly and it becomes carefully. Happy, what happens? We omit y and it, i appears and Add ly happily. Now look at these words in red. Can you read it? Yes, in the first one fast, second one hard, third one daily, fourth one late, fifth one early. Adverbs of some words are same as the adjective fast. Shall we see it? Yes. This is a fast runner. That is an adjective. Runner. It describes the runner. Noun. He runs fast. Second, in the second sentence, it describes the action. He runs how? Fast. Second one. Ravi is a hard worker. Hard worker adjective. Hard is adjective. Ravi works hard. That hard means how does he work? That is adverb. My father does exercises daily. This is his daily routine. The first one is the adverb. How does he exercise? And the second one is the adjective. Fourth one, he is a late comer. He comes late to school. First one says, late comer. How does he come late to school? Second one describes, he is a late comer. That means the adverb. He comes to school. How does he come to school? Late. Early bird catches the worm. Early means adjective there. They wake up early. 
how do they wake up early here you can see a very small task filling the blanks with the correct adverb i can't understand you can you speak blank within brackets you can see slow he is very humble he spoke to us blank humble i know her she can sing blank within brackets beautiful please do this activity now shall we go through the answers yes you can see it slow become slowly humble become humbly beautiful beautifully fast there's no word fastly fast sound soundly now we are moving to the next category that is adverbs of time it tells when the action takes place now shall we look at these sentences yes can you read they play now he will come tomorrow they won the world cup in 2020 he fell from a tree yesterday he finishes his work early let's answer these questions when do they play now when will he come tomorrow when did they win the world cup in 2020 when did he fall from a tree yesterday when does he finish his work early given below are some adverbs of time can you categorize them and write them in the correct column you can see a grid it has three columns first column present second column past and the third column future the words are in the box the word bank select and write it yesterday it goes to the second column now it is present it goes to the first column tomorrow it indicates future it goes to the third column now can you group them now you can see the answers in the first column you can see now today at this moment this month it indicates present second column yesterday last month few years ago previous month last year few hours ago it indicates past action in the third column tomorrow next year in 2024 next friday next christmas it indicates future action or future so check your answers my dear now i think you have a clear idea of adverb of time i have given you some adverbs of time in this grid can you fill these sentences an adverb of time tells us when the action is carried out complete each sentences with appropriate adverb of time the words are in the word bank now shall we check the answers yes my uncle will come by train tomorrow ravi hasn't left for the party yet i cleaned the hall yesterday kevin works as a teacher today madhav will be back later she pays her car insurance yearly Sadev is going to Chicago now. We stayed at a beach resort last month. I have never seen him before. Sadev volunteered at the local library last week. Yes students, we'll see this. Do all the words ending with ly are adverbs? No. Now look at this example. the word hardly i hardly slept last night i hardly work for the exam here hardly means not an adverb hardly means not in english language 
hardly means not an adverb it indicates not to keep this thing in mind now another special thing look at this he's a good boy good means adjective look at the second sent he studies well right this is a very special thing for you he's a good boy good means an adjective he studies well well means how does he do this how does the action takes place that is an adverb now we have learnt lot of adverbs can you prepare a concept map using the adverbs you know we have learnt adverbs of manner and adverbs of time if i tell you an example adverbs of manner clearly patiently vigorously time tomorrow early next week it indicates time can you write some adverbs like that now i am going to give you a very simple task underline the adverbs in the following sentences underline the adverbs in the following sentences can you do it alone shall i help you for the first one dinner will soon be ready what is the adverb here soon it is adverb of time now please underline the adverbs now you can see the answers dinner will soon be ready the adverb is soon i will meet you tomorrow tomorrow is the adverb the man walked slowly across the field slowly teaches well well is the answer how does she teach well i go to school early the adverb of time early he can nicely boast about his adventures nicely i study hard the word is hard now we have come to the end of our lesson let's recap what we have learned today now you have come to the end of our lesson let's recap what we have learned today we learned what is an adverb yes what is an adverb it describes or modifies a verb we learned two categories type number 1 adverbs of manner and the type number 2 the adverbs of time from our next lesson let's learn the other two types goodbye children